Are you bored out of your mind like the rest of the world from sitting in quarantine? Have you run out of fingers to count on? Are you tired of spinning on your spinny chair? Have you ran out of things to throw at your pet dragon? Well, fear not, ladies and gentlemen, for now you can have the steel sandwich. Yes, the steel sandwich is an advanced piece of technology we have created specifically for boredom. You get two pieces of steel with three welded nuts and three bolts. Because we know you're so simple-minded, we added one hole that does nothing to keep things interesting. Tired of tinkering in the garage? Steal a sandwich! Now you can steal and sandwich all at the same time. Tired of wishing your Honda Civic was fast? Steal a sandwich! Look at that sandwich of steel. Hammer smash. For only 16 low payments of 19.95. Wait, call now and we'll send you another and a Harbor Freight Watchet and an empty bag of spicy Cheetos. Satisfaction is not guaranteed because you'd be a fool to buy the shipping and handling not included. Game plan, muffin uh, top. Cut the cage. What, what we, whoa, wait, 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 okay, so. Oh, you want to. The whole, yeah, so this is the closest thing we have to like efficiently running. And the PSCA races here is uh, not to our advantage. And El Turd Muffin out there. It's not gonna go any faster with the same amount of horsepower. Yeah, and everyone else got a little faster. So without being Debbie Downers, we kind of decided we're probably gonna lose or oh, every single numerically week. speaking, we definitely should lose. So we figured we might as well lose exactly. in that. <laughs> so where's that? Oh, where's the collector? So Mina, how much was this? Uh, 40 bucks. So Mina ordered this for 40 bucks for the steel. Yes, bring turbo. And then he's ordering some 90s, and then we're gonna use <laughs> the uh, some remaining parts of the old Miata roll cage for more of this piping. And then well, this, and turbos. is that turbo? We're gonna uh, sit it, it like somewhere in there-ish. Got some stuff to figure out, but basically <laughs> turbo's gonna sit somewhere, somewhere in there. Here. And then, so what we gotta do on the roll cage is cut the tacks off. Uh, we're gonna center these and tack these in place before we cut it. So we got our center line right there. And then weld these, cut the cage off, paint certain areas like in here that will be hard to get to, uh, fill that gap. We'd really just have to, we gotta build a turbo manifold. You gotta buy mega squirt and injectors yep. and then we gotta make it look pretty. That's it. And that's it. That needs a lot. The Jeep's not very fast. This just, we're gonna focus on this. We're gonna try and get one of the other two possibly there, but we're gonna focus on this. I think no matter what, we'll still take two cars. I mean, I guess we still, we could still bring the Civic. That's what I'm saying. It's still a love second car. It'll still be fun. I guess last year when we were to that event, no, we were gonna lose the first race and we were- We made it to like the top <laughs> yeah. four Something like in our four. class, uh -huh. yeah. But this so, year's everyone's making like six everyone, plus yeah, everyone. everyone. So, so just, we're gonna be outgunned. Yeah. So might as well we're be outgunned in this. Stock clutch, huh? Yeah. This stock clutch is definitely gonna go oh, bye bye. Yeah, but these are 150 bucks for aftermarket clutch. Like, oh really? Yeah. Well, let's center these and then yes. we tack them and then we cut stuff. Sounds good. Hey boy. Okay. Okay, we cut.
What are we doing? We we're putting a back bumper on this Miata. So that was the old hoop, right? Yeah, this was the old hoop. I'm gonna tack it and then have you look at it because it's almost, it's in between perfect and like two too inches much? too long. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait. No, uh, I'm not doing this. No. Got this little plate made. Uh, really fancy. What I did was measured and then cut it. And then I drilled two holes. And so this is ridiculous. This is like that's probably like quarter inch thick. It's ridiculous. So now the plan is we're going to run two pipes from here. So I'm gonna try and get those to fit inside here and get the, what do they call that, fish mouth, get all that dialed in and then get that angle squared away and then we'll see how it turns out. One day I'll learn guys, but uh, <laughs> What I should have done is tack those on because in my normal fashion, I've been staring at this for a long time and I don't like it. And I called Mina and told him, it looks like we're building a dune buggy to go have picnics in. It looks like we're building a giant storage compartment to put a giant picnic basket. It just, it looks soft. It's too long. Probably you guys were already thinking that, but after staring at it, it just, it doesn't look good. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, we're going to try and use that plate because I like that plate. But uh, in short, we're gonna shorten this. I'm gonna do some triangle stuff right here. We got some of these 45s that we're gonna stick out past the tire and then do a couple supports down to that plate. So um, instead of explaining it to you for 15 minutes, I'm just gonna get going, but I assure you that I think <laughs> it's gonna look better, but time will tell. So I'm gonna get going. We gotta cut this off. Um, this should be under tension because we ratchet strapped it a little smaller. So I'm going to ratchet strap it again. So when I cut it off, it doesn't fly and explode and something hits me in the noggin and then we'll get going on the rest of it. Here you see me explaining what I'm about to do, which I'm going to change eventually, so I found it pointless to actually tell you what I'm going to do. Here I'm leveling what I'm about to do and then change. Here I'm fish mouthing a pipe that is not worth my time. Now I'm cutting something that I'm going to change. Basically, this result right here that you're seeing, I just didn't like it. I didn't like how the pipes in the center didn't connect. <laughs> okay, if you guys have been on the channel, you know this is kind of normal by now, and I apologize, but I think uh, what I have going right now in my mind is going to be our best bet. So really, I don't like how that those aren't connected, and I think it'd be it's structurally pointless to cut a tube and connect them there. Um, but I did just discover that uh, this fits inside of this 
like such. So that's your only hint and uh, we'll see how this turns out. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now that those side bars are on, those diagonals there, I kind of feel like those two center ones are, I feel like they look like there's too much going on, but uh, it still looks good, I think. So uh, last piece of the puzzle before I take it off and fully weld it is I'm going to put this pipe right here in the dead center so that uh, when we jack up from this, it's not just that weld supporting the entire weight of the car. It'll have this right in the middle right in the middle. Um, that's also kind of why I like those. It's just one more anchor point to, to help lift the car. It's probably way overkill for what this car weighs, but this is my first bumper and I'm working with material that I have and it's my first bumper. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting to try and uh, kind of hone that out or fish mouth that, whatever you want to call that. Um, so I'm gonna get cracking on that because it's gonna take a minute, but that should be the last thing. And then I'm gonna unbolt it, take it off, weld it, and we're we're done. And then um, what I'm gonna do, because we're gonna have a bunch of these little, you know, random pieces. Um, we're gonna use a bunch of these for gussets. Um, so they did gussets on this kind of all throughout. Uh, I think that's called a saddle gusset. That's just a dimple die gusset. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of this. So I figured I might as well put uh, you know, we'll cut them down to size, but just put a couple along here's and there's. Um, and then I think we'll paint it next time. I'm not really sure what's going on. As you saw, I went through 16 renditions of that. So that's my plan, but I'll probably change my mind again. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll see how it looks.
Holy smokes, okay. <laughs> I hope you guys like that because I don't want to redo any of it. Um, these, 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 Harbor Freight, uh, little magnet things. These were super, super helpful because they were basically a super easy guide for me to make everything uh, a 90 degrees. So that's 90, these are 90s. Well, it doesn't fit anymore, but uh, they were 90s. They also have uh, these little versions right here which uh, I think I used on this guy. So I'll put one of those on each side. Um, this got a little hairy, and what I'm thinking is I'm going to kind of grind down some of these welds and then try and lay another bead. It just got kind of weird. And my uh, fish mouth here was not perfect either, so there is definitely a little bit of extra weld, but uh, not a roll cage, and that will be plenty strong to jack the back of the car up. Uh, it's not bolted in just because I don't want to bolt it back in, but it comes on and off. It's a little, it's a little tight, it's a little snug, but uh, one-handed this might be more difficult than anticipated. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I don't know, uh, I think taillights right here might be kind of cool. Um, we originally had that panel over there that sits up on here um it needs a little bit of trimming to fit i don't know if we're still going to use that we liked we're not planning on driving this on the street a whole lot but we kind of liked having the taillights up a little bit just since it's a a littler car and it is what it is we thought you know the higher the lights the better people would see it at night so i don't know what we're doing with that yet but overall i like it um it's not too big i think <laughs> i don't know from some angles it looks like there's way too much going on um but it's definitely plenty strong. I think once we kind of finish that up and then Mina did just order a wing. So we got a 60 inch freaking wing that's going to, I'm imagining we're going to mount it about here and it's going to come up and sit just barely above that top bar. I think that'll kind of help make the whole car flow. Um, so we're going to work on making all this pretty back here. And then next episode of the Miata, we got this collector and then we picked up uh, these 90 degrees in town. So we got six of these. We'll probably end up needing more. Um, the plan is to set the turbo about right here-ish. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing for an intercooler. I don't know anything else, but that's the next project up there. And then um, obviously take this off, paint it, weld it, uh, make this back area look pretty. Do the wing. We got a lot to do. Um, the bug will probably be the next video you guys watch. Uh, so I got these panels off and what I'm working on now is shift linkage. Um, luckily this isn't fully welded. It's just tacked. So I got to take this out, cut some holes. I'm probably going to trim the top of this off, run the shift linkage through. We got to make a bracket for that stuff to bolt on back there now because it's going from the opposite angle. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. This is done-ish. I'm going to take a break from it. Shop's full. I'm freaking tired. <laughs> But uh, we made some progress. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, back here, there's going to be, like I said, we don't really know what we're doing aesthetically back here. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or ideas, let me know what you think. Um, if you guys could hit like and comment and all that jazz, because that does help us out. I say that a lot. I don't like being that guy that's like, subscribe. But it there's a reason people do it. It's because it helps. I just I don't want to be that dude. So um, I don't think I have anything else for you. Let me know what you think about that. That was my first one, working with material that we had. Um, definitely looks better than the first round. Uh, it's definitely strong. When it was bolted on, me and Mina stood on it and jumped on it, and uh, obviously it didn't break. So <laughs> if it can hold us two on our Taco Bell diet, I think it will be plenty strong for us to sit on at the track and hopefully prevent some sort of damage should anyone tap the rear end. Um, Okay, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, comment, let me know what you think. Um, all the other aesthetic stuff going on back here. Uh, I'm going to try and move on the bug. I know you guys want to see that thing run move. Um, so we just need uh, axles, shift linkage, and then some little odds and ends. But uh, should move pretty quick. I think that's it. That's enough of me talking, wouldn't you say? All right, uh, we will see you guys in a couple days. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay safe, quarantine, all that jazz. Bye-bye.